Hello there. This is Roberto Matthews. I have a review for you. Um, this is a rare case where it's an actual going to be a bad review. Unfortunately, um, I've been purchasing these new replacements to my um, CD cover jewel case inserts. The ones I had before ran out, so I went ahead and bought these. Um, besides the fact that they were more expensive um, and had fewer sheets, I had to get these because I was low on mine. And, you know, what happens? You try to go cheap and you end up have, and paying more. But I digress. So the ones I'm reviewing right now are these um, matte white jewel cases by Avery. Um, you could use the Avery code 8693 to get your template. And right up here, it says fits any standard or slimline case. Now, slimline, not a problem because when you use it for slimline, you will just tear away the top and the bottom and they're exactly the same and they will work for you. However, when you do the standard cases, it's a no-go. Here I have a standard case that I did with one of the um, old um with one of the old inserts, the original inserts that I would be using, the ones by Memorex. Um, I'll have a link in the description. Hopefully you could find them because I'm gonna definitely find them from now on. These print f basically flawlessly, okay? So, uh, but when we use this, we're gonna do a direct comparison and I'm gonna show you why it doesn't work at all and it's a flaw and I I'm not a litigating type of person, but I would try to seek damages for a uh, refund at least. So as you can see right here, oops, as you can see right here, we have the perforation. If you're gonna do the slim line, and it tells you right here, if you're doing the front tray, this is what you will cut. You have to be very careful not to cut right here, right? So, um, and then you have here a folding line. Let me see if I can get this in focus. You have a folding line right here. When I take this apart, you'll be able to see. However, on this side, you have the perforation but no folding line. And it's not like you can, I mean, I guess you could use the back, but it's not like you can print further out and just fold it yourself because you have this ink right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and take this apart. So you gotta be super careful here. Let's go ahead and do this side. Okay, so let's be careful here. Okay, and then we'll do this side. Okay, so when you print, obviously when you finish, you will be bending this side so that you can have your, your, your side being able to be shown, right? But what about this side? Let's look at the size. So I'm gonna bring out one that actually works. Here's my sides, right? So let's see one that actually works. Now, as you can see, the way this is perforated, you have the perforation here and the bend, perforation here and the bend. But on this one, so the, again, this is the Memorex and this is the Avery. And on the Avery, unfortunately, you have just the bend on this side, but there you go. It's missing the other side. This is the main problem right here. So if you print, you get this side, but you don't get this side. So that's the main problem why these are completely unusable. So if you're in the market for trying to get some CD inserts, do not buy the Avery version because this Avery version is not correct. It's not correct at all. And there's no way, see, it shows you even right here. They have a double per bend here, but nothing on this side. So it really is not bad. It's not good at all. Okay. I guess they're, they're suggesting that you would put this in here like this, perhaps close this up. And you would have it on this side, but not on this side or the opposite. Maybe they're suggesting that you do the outside here and have it on the outside but not this inside cover. But in either case, that's not what I want. I want it to be able to cover up both sides, just like this one is printed. So you print it, you put it in here, you fold it up, 
close it up. And now we have the, the side right here and we have the side right here. And that's what I'm looking for. So um, buyer beware. That's all I can tell you right now. Have a wonderful day.